G'day people, how you going? Hope you're having a great day. So you want to drive a bus in Euro Truck Simulator 2. What mods do you need? Uh, what add-ons do you need? Invisible trailers? What's that all about? Stay tuned and I'll let you know. Okay, here we are in my test profile and uh, in the mods section first thing you're going to need is a couple of buses or one bus just depending on what you want to do i've just chosen a couple from steam so you can get either of these buses on the uh, steam workshop so you'll need to download those or a bus mod anyway and you'll need these uh, passenger transportation add-ons. I'll leave a link in the description below to show you where you can get them. Uh, there's a readme in the files that will show you what to do, how to set them up. Um, these ones that I'm pointing at now are if you've got all the DLCs. If you don't have any of the DLCs, downloadable content, and you've just got the base map, then this one and this one is what you'll need to activate. But again, have a look at the README, follow the instructions in that, and it will tell you which ones to use to set up. So there, the mods and the add-ons you'll need, buses and these here. Once you've got them and it's set up, you can go into the game and we'll uh, see how to do it from there. Okay, so once you're in the game, the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to buy yourself a bus. Uh, so you just simply go to the truck dealers up here. Then go to access mod dealer. From here, choose whichever truck you want to buy. Go into custom configuration, set it up whichever way you want. I'm not going to go through that because that's a personal choice. But you've got all the choices up here. Set your, truck, your bus up. Once you've done that, purchase it. I've already purchased two buses, so I don't need to do that right now. Once you've done that, take them for a test drive. So that you can get used to how they handle and what the gears are. They're, uh, most buses are six speeds. So there's something you need to uh, get used to. So yeah, once you're uh, in your bus, just take it for a quick test spot run. And like I say, there's six speed. You can either set it up as auto or manual. I've got mine set up as manual because I just prefer manual. This is a nice looking bus, this one. More modern one. Step outside and have a look at it. There you go. I've set it up with the uh, green and gold plexi bus. One of the skins that you get with it. Looks great. We'll hop back inside. You can have a look at the uh, cab inside. The uh, doors all open, you just simply use your windows so that to open your door, it's just open the right window, close your right window, and it opens up and closes. Simple. That's your uh, dash, it's the basic bus dash, and away you go. So yeah, take it for a test run, get used to your gears, and off you go. So to uh, get yourself a job, this is where the interesting bit comes in. You need to 
hook up an invisible trailer. What the invisible trailer does is it basically gives you your loads or your jobs, whichever you prefer to call it, uh, but the trailer's invisible. <laughs> And it presents a few problems, which I'll show you once I've hooked up an invisible trailer. For now, what you do to do that is simply go into your trailer manager. Oh, sorry. We'll get rewind. <laughs> you need to purchase the trailer first. So you'll see, once you go to your trailers, purchase, you'll see up there in the left hand corner. Run that back. We interrupt this program for a special announcement. Because I was a dick and didn't realize that my wheel cam blocked a view of the links up here in the left hand corner, I'm doing it again to show you. As I said, you'll see a link up here that says, and you click on that. So now we'll return you to your regular scheduled program. Click on that. Now you can, well, you can't see the invisible trailer. You have two mark M and two mark S. Now the M's are for the long haul jobs. The S are for the short inner city stuff. So let's just take one of the inner city trailers, trailers. <laughs> and we'll use one of those. I'm not going to purchase it because I've already purchased all these trailers. So what you do is just purchase each of those trailers. So they'll then be in your trailer manager. And once you go to your trailer manager, as you can see, they're all here. So what you can do then is just choose one of the trailers. Click on Use Trailer, and away you go. Now, you should be hooked up. Whoa. Yep, okay, we're hooked up. <laughs> so once you're hooked up to the trailer, I'll move forward a little bit so we don't cause too much damage. To the truck, uh, to the trailer, and I'll show you, or I won't show you, <laughs> the invisible trailer. There you go. See? See the invisible? Well, you don't see it. Magic. But the, believe me, there is a trailer hooked up to the back of this. So now, once you've done that, I hope you're getting all this. You've hooked up your invisible trailer, you've got your bus, you've got all your uh, transportation add-ons. Now you just simply go to your job market, go to cargo market, not freight, but cargo. Okay. Have a look for a job. Where are we going? We'll just pick a quick job here. Starts off in Cambridge, goes through to London. Maybe not that one because we need to fast travel to it and it's only two minutes. Let's use this one. So it gives us a, three hours to get to the job. Okay, so we've chosen this one. Cambridge to London. We'll quick travel. We'll first set GPS. Then we'll go back and quick travel Cambridge. So you can see what you do at the depot, the bus depot. Okay. So now here we are in Cambridge, ready to go and pick up our passengers. So off we go, and I'll show you exactly how to pick the passengers up, because that's a little bit, um, Bit of a spin out of how you have to do that. Turn now I'm in London, so I drive on the left hand side. Turn left. Turn left. 
turn right. Here we are at the depot. It's nice and quick. Now, what we've got to do is find out where... You have arrived at your destination. Okay, over there where the question mark is. Drive in there. Just like you would be picking up a job for your truck. Go to your cargo market. Take the job. Now we'll find out. We'll hop out of the vehicle. Have a look where we've got to pull up. And it's right in front of us. <laughs> I'm looking everywhere, but in front of me. It's called domestic blindness. Okay. So we just pull up in front. And it's exactly the same way that you do with your trucks. Got to get into the rectangle. Oh. Okay, I didn't quite get there. Now this is one of the problems, reversing your bus because you've actually got a trailer on behind you that you can't see. And you'll probably see in a minute what will happen. Oh, no, we won't show you. Okay, I've pulled up in the rectangle now so everything's okay we'll hop outside it's a bit of a sloppy job parking job that's okay so again now all you do is exactly what you do when you're picking up a load in your truck but for a little bit more realism I'm going to open the door I'll let the passengers in okay I just press enter, not pause, and your passengers are getting loaded, not drunk, loaded onto the bus. Okay, then close your door, start your engine, release the handbrake, and you're ready to rock and roll. And off we go. Now some of the interesting things about buses with the invisible trailers is that the AI, cars, buses, trucks, bikes, whatever, for some reason love rear-ending the buses. So when you're pulling up at a set of lights, you'll all of a sudden feel that now there, that's the other problem, invisible Turn obstacles. Back. So you every now and again get these massive thumps that have no explanation, but it doesn't cause any damage, so that's not really a problem. But again, like I say, if you pull up at a set of lights, right. don't be surprised right. if all of a sudden there's a massive thump and you jump out of the bus and have a look and there's a buck, uh, bus or a car or a bike run into the back of you. They'll reverse, and they'll run back into you again. <laughs> but if you can put up with all those things, the it's quite enjoyable driving the buses. I'm hoping that somewhere along the line, we'll... Um, oops, I stalled it. There you go. Somebody ran into me. There you go. Look at that. Just as I was telling you. Now he will reverse back. I'll wait here a while and see what happens. He might... Yep, he, ooh, no, he decided not to. But they'll reverse back and run straight back into you. But again, from what I'm, I've seen so far, it doesn't cause any damage to you. So, oh, here he goes. You can do it. No, not going to do it. All right. I've proven my point anyway. And the other thing is, too, that at intersections, when you're going through intersections, for some reason, sometimes the AI won't see you and they'll drive straight into you, T-bone you. It's only occasionally. 
Again, apart from that, everything else is really top notch on these mods and add ons. I really enjoy driving the buses because it's something totally different. And uh, if you enjoy buses or driving buses, then this is a, a, a good way to actually yeah, to do it. So I'll just shut up for a little while and let you see how the bus handles and and that way I can concentrate on driving. <laughs> so I can't chew chewing gum and walk at the same time or I'll fall over. Okay, we're not far away from the drop-off. 
and basically dropping off passengers is the same as the pickup but in reverse so again it's basically the same as when you're uh, picking up and dropping off in a truck but the difficult part can be the parking because you can't see the trailer sometimes it's not actually you, you appear to be in the rectangle but because the trailer is off at an angle or something you're not fully in so it can be a bit tricky sometimes but apart from that oops speeding it's fine So we're coming up on the depot now and I'll show you exactly how this works if I don't stuff it up. And there's a depot on the left. Left, and then turn left. So coming into the depot, turn left. You've got to keep an eye on where you've got to drop off because you don't want to reverse because of the invisible trailer. So from what I can see, it looks like it's up the end here. Yep, there it is. Okay. So trying to. Uh, Keep it so I don't have to reverse. Oh. Come on. Oh, did it. Okay. I'll hop out. Wrong button. A little bit crooked but that'll do I'm not going to argue with that one okay so again get in the position I want to oh doesn't want to there we go we'll open the door we'll let the passengers out turn the engine off and let them out and that's how you drive a bus in Euro Truck Simulator 2. So if you've got any questions about the mods or the add-ons or anything like that, just leave a, a, a question in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll leave a link to all the uh, add-ons and the mods that I used in this video so you can give it a try for yourself. Um, like I say, I did this on my test profile just to see how it goes because it's not something I normally would do but I like it and because I like it so much I will be using it in one of my other profiles uh, because I enjoy it it's great so yeah thanks for watching have a great day and I'll see you in the next one